Now let's have some tea. Cheers. <laughs> Hello, mi gente. Welcome back to another episode on our channel. Hello. Today, we're going to do something a little bit fun, a little bit... Um, it will get interesting because it is a game, but it's one that's going to spark topics and conversations, um, things that, you know, will just kind of give you insight, I guess, to like our perspectives and how we think, but it is a game and questions nonetheless. So. Before we get started on today's episode and the game, I do just want to say, um, you can find us on all, you know, social media platforms, uh, Facebook, we're on there under Tuesday Tea with me on Instagram. You can find both of our handles. We do have two separate handles. So one is Tuesday Tea with me and one is Tuesday Tea with C. I always link everything down below so you can find all this information down below. But I know you guys know how important it is for you guys to hit that subscribe button. So Please subscribe. Mm -hmm. It's it not that hard nothing. to just press the button and subscribe to us and follow us. And um, also don't forget to um, subscribe to our Patreon. Our Patreon. Patreon is the juicy stuff. Yes. Um, that's where we do everything that's, you know, a little more 18 and older content, mm -hmm. just a lot more fun, a lot more free. We try to be a little more reserved on this channel because we know that this is more public. I mean, if kids wanted to, they can tune in. Although I always put on all of our videos, I always put uh, not for children yes. just because, you know, obviously we, if we curse or things we talk about, I don't want your kids coming across this. So we are very mindful of that. We do make sure we restrict that any way that we possibly can however we do have our free selves on our patreon yeah, i was gonna say that yeah us on our patreon get to know us better um that's exactly where you need to to go if you really want to you know to have a conversation with us and um get to know the real us <laughs> yeah yeah so uh definitely look for that on there and we do have two subscriptions so that if you don't want to pay for the um which is not really that much. It's $8 a month. But if you do want to pay a lot cheaper, there's one that's just $4 a month on there. So be sure to subscribe on there. We just want to make sure because I don't really put that out there and kind of like push you guys towards that. Yeah. I feel like if someone really, just like we've had, you know, whatever patrons we have on there, they've come there themselves willingly. We don't really like promote that. Even on our social media, you'll see, we don't really push that that much. But I realize that a lot of people don't know about it. So we yeah. want to mention that. Please check it all out and hit the subscribe button on here. Likes, comments, all of that. Um, and we have said this before too. Once we do get to a thousand subscribers, we are having a huge giveaway. This is going to be something a lot bigger. Um, you know, something we might do like something, a, a luxury item. That's what I'm thinking more of. I know I did do a poll on our YouTube channel if someone wanted something or a gift card. And a lot of people actually chose a gift, gift card. card yeah. So I if it is a gift card, I will make sure that it is a substantial amount. Um, I know we did do a $50 gift card on our um our instagram which that was very nice but we are going to raise that substantially once we do hit a thousand subscribers so, so we'll subscribe. make it worth it please subscribe yes and thank you we do appreciate all of you all the likes all the love that we get even the dislikes we appreciate every single <laughs> yes. one of you so but with that being said we are going to hop into our game let's go so, all right. So I've, um, I've only looked at like the first two questions on here. This is, um, it's like a hundred, uh, would you rather question? So obviously we're not going to do that many, but we'll run through as many as we can within like the next, you know, 20 minutes, half hour. And we'll see where that goes, depending, I guess, on how long we talk about uh, yeah, each, question, each question, because I know each question is kind of designed to like spark conversation and bring that out of you. So what I'm going to do is this way, it's a question that we haven't seen at all. I'm just going to like kind of scroll Down, and stop. Yes. All right, so here we go, and I'm stopping, and there's oh, 57. Okay. So, oh, this is kind of like funny and appropriate, I guess. But question 57 on here says, would you rather have many good friends or one very best friend? That's what I really had this conversation this morning with someone. That's so funny. One, definitely one good best friend. Because um, as when I was growing up, you know, you, when you're in high school, you're like, oh, my God, or in your elementary school, you're just adolescents. You want to be popular. You want all the friends. You want, you know, um, to be surrounded by so many people. But as you get older, you realize, you know, two, three the most is all you need. 
as far as like having friends and someone to confide in and to someone to like truly be like loyal and um, know everything about you. Don't, and plus you don't, in, as you get older, you realize you can't trust everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody's not trustworthy. Um, everybody's not really your friends. And it's so crazy because my mom used to say that to me at that time when I was younger. Because you do, you want, I want so many friends. And, my mom, and she'd be like, they're not your friend. She would say that all the time to me. And I'm like, what do you mean they're not my friend? They're my friend. She'd be like, they're not your friend. And as you get older, you realize the people that are truly your friends and that truly have your um, like your back and best yeah, interest at heart. All, your, oh, yes, your interest at heart. And then um, as you get older, you realize that. And there's nothing more special than just having that one good friend that is always there for you, that you can confide in, that you can talk to, that you can trust, that you... And and you can, and it goes both ways. Mm-hmm. Um, so I definitely agree with just yeah. the... Yeah, I think it brings me back to like that whole saying like quality over quantity. And I think, yeah, as a kid, even though I've never been a kid to where like I wanted so many friends, I was kind of like that kid that like gravitated towards like a couple close ones that I would feel comfortable because I as a child, young, young child, not once I got to like my adolescent years, but as a young, young child, I always craved just being able to be me. Like I was Mm -hmm. very... Um, you know, if you ask one of our best friends who knew me from very little, I mean, we were like nine years old. I was never embarrassed. Like I would just do what I wanted and like make a fool of myself. And if it was funny, like I didn't care. So I think just someone that you can truly be yourself with. But like she said, like having your best interests at heart and you realize as you get older, not everyone does. Some people are just there for the benefits. Some people are just there to be nosy. Some people, you know, and I think that just having that one person, that's all you need. You need one person that you can trust, one person that's in your corner, one person that's rooting for you. And I think what, what beats having the one person that cares for you the way a family member would over having five or whatever, 20 people around you that are just like, Oh, they're good friends. Like they care, but maybe not the way they would care about a sister or a cousin or a close family member, you know, where I know that with our friends and the people that we have in our circle, because it is so minimal, they truly care as if they were your sister, your cousin, a family member. I know how catty people can be and I know how mean people can be. I usually notice that about a person quite um, early in our friendship. So I, I tend to like kind of veer away from that type of person that's going to be mean or, or a backstabber. So I guess that's just something that I learned in my, in my environment Mm -hmm. of growing up of, what type of person that I want to be in my circle. And it became easier for me as I got older, not to be hurt by losing people that I really don't need to be mm-hmm. in my circle. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing for me too. I know we were saying how the, like the way people or friends or which, you know, they shouldn't be friends, but not only friends, even family mm-hmm. members will try to keep you small because they don't want to see you doing better than them or they don't want you elevating higher than them. I was just having this conversation this morning with another friend of ours and we talked about it. So something's just moving me to obviously touch on this on our, on our channel, but if you're surrounded by people like that, remove yourself, mm-hmm. remove yourself because it, you should be surrounded by friends who they want to see you elevate higher because if you have a friend that does better than you and all of a sudden elevates to success, you should be like, damn, like, Teach me, show me. Wouldn't everything in you though be so proud of them? Like mm-hmm. I have friends around me that, you know, they go through struggles and when they overcome it, don't you feel like so happy? Like you're like, oh my, you want to celebrate them. You're proud of them. You're happy for them. Mm-hmm. That's what you should do. Then what comes next? It's like, wait a minute can you mentor me? Like you want them to then become a mentor to you. Like you don't, why would you want to be the biggest person in the room? And then it's like, you're surrounded by what people that you want to keep dumb and small for what? I I just, I don't see. And I, I get when you're younger, that younger mentality, like, Oh, look at me, look at me. I'm the best, but I'm sorry. Once you're in, not everyone should even think that way, but once you really like mature, get to know yourself and grow, you should really learn that that's probably the stupidest mentality to have. I'm yeah. sorry. And it just says a lot about your character as well. And that's another thing that goes back to 
something that we mentioned before that parents say to their kids, birds of a feather flock together. Mm -hmm. You want to flock to the people that are going to elevate you. And it's not, it's not a bad thing of birds of a feather that flock together is not a bad thing at all. Is if you pick the right flock. Exactly. Yeah. So that was a good one. That's so weird. It's just, I feel like the conversations I had (laughs) earlier and then the conversations we We were having, it just like all tied in. So you just know it was meant to be. Um, Okay, so let's go down to the next one. Mm -hmm. This one says, would you rather mentally or physically never age? Ooh, Ooh, that is tough. I don't like this hard one. But being that I am in the skincare business, (laughs) good excuse. (laughs) I'm in the skincare business. I would say physically. I would say physically never age. (sighs) Okay, maybe. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, so for one. me, I would say if it if you were to ask me that right at this moment where I'm at, I would say physically because mm-hmm. I feel like mentally I'm, I'm at a good speak. place <laughs> where you know I love the people around me, I want to help the people around me to succeed, I care about myself and them. Whereas you say 15 plus years ago, it was all about that more like me, 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 selfish mm-hmm. mentality, and I wouldn't want to stay there. Like I would want to mentally grow because that, yeah, I, I mean. I would probably be physically amazing with no one left around me. So that wouldn't be a good place to stay. So if we're speaking from this moment, I'm going to have to say physically. I'm not going to lie. And I think it's harder to not age mentally. It's like mentally, it it just goes with time and with the things that you see. But physically, that's a hard. That's hard. You have to work on that. You have to be willing and wanting to work on physical. Mental it's just with the world and everything that surrounds us, you automatically mentally age. I think physically, that's something that you have to try for. Like no one can give, no one can help you do that. You have to want that for yourself to, with the, the, the physical outside elements of wanting to um, preserve and age gracefully. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, you know, uh, exercising what you eat and skincare. So money, you know, cause you have to put in all this money into skincare and keeping up with it. And, facials into, and, and into the gym and into physical, everything costs money to be able to sustain that. that age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But that was a good one. That one was rough. I was like, Ooh, I don't like this question. <laughs> cause I don't know. Cause I love you know, looking back at how much I've grown mentally, you know, even Mm -hmm. just so many things, so many aspects. So that was a good one though. (laughs) All right. So we're just going to spin and stuff. All right. So would you rather live at the top of a tall New York city apartment building? Ooh, or at the top of a mountain building? Yeah, I guess building. I don't really like any of the two options. I'm going to be honest. Um, I love New York. You know, we, we literally are just like a hop, skip and a yes. jump away. We can be in New York and like this. Um, but we can also be at the beach like this. I think we live in like the best spot, the yes. best area. I love where we live. I hate how much we have to pay to live where we live, but I do like it. Um, but I'm not, although I'm a very physically active person, I love working out. I love the gym. I love being outdoors. I'm not that like a mountain hikey no, type of person. Either. Like I like life. <laughs> but, um, so I would pick the New York city building. Although that's like not my, I love New York, but I always say I would hate to live there. It's not my yeah. ideal situation. I would pick the New York city building because exactly. I'm not, I like to stay fit. I like everything about, um, health and everything, but I'm, I'm, I'm bougie mountain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but I am. I'm bougie. I'm a, the, we're girly girls. So yeah, I'll take the New York high rise. Are there stairs like from and to the mountain? <laughs> no, there's not. At least in New York, if you're in a building, like you just walk down and like literally go anywhere in the building, there's stairs. Yeah. And we like, we like going out. We like interaction. We like being around people. Yeah, so and then when you think mountain, mountain, there's you no think one included. Yeah. You think it's no one a- there. Think danger. Even though New York is dangerous too, but it's a different kind of danger. <laughs> if it's our kind of danger that if we don't you mind. Miss your step on a mountain, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live. Okay, I'm good. Oh, that one was funny. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, so uh, would you rather meet? Uh, 
scared. Oh, scared. Boy. Would you rather meet George Washington or the current president? The current this president. Is, really? See, I'm George Washington. <laughs> I, I thought that was easy. I thought anyone would say, I would rather meet anyone but the current president. I want to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I feel like, it, uh, yeah, I, I don't even. I have so many I questions. I have no words. I have so many questions. Like, what the absolute bamboozle were you on? Can I have some? <laughs> Share. <laughs> yeah, no. Because, because yeah. think about, like, George Washington. Like, that's pretty freaking cool, you know, learn about. Yeah, definitely, I would, like, without a doubt, I would just say George no. Washington. The new president. I need to know. We need, I need some answers. <laughs> So another one. Let's scroll. Okay, so we'll do. Would you rather go without TV or junk food for the rest of your life? Ooh, for the rest of your life, I guess TV. Really? Junk food. <laughs> I know, and I'm not even like a big junk food person. I'm not a big. I'm not a big like sweet eater. If it is junk food, it's something salty, but. If you're going to feed me nutritionist Like, stuff? are you saying, like, TV, like, you can't watch TV ever again? Or, like, because, I mean, we have, like, no. other stuff. I would go without junk food because if you're going to feed me right, I'll be healthy, yeah, healthy, you'd be healthier, yeah. I will go without the junk food because healthy food is 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 good and it and it um, helps any of your cravings. I'm yeah, yeah, that's them. true. You're no, probably... You're, you're probably guaranteed more of a longer life if exactly. you give up the junk Just food. Just talking about, you know, aging, although <laughs> let go That's of the junk true. food. That was actually a good one. Okay. Would you rather have a family of 12 children or never ooh, or never be able to have children at all? Mm, 12. Yeah, me too. Me too. I think one of my greatest I think accomplishments in life that I hope or you know that I just being a mom I think being, if you ask me like mm -hmm. what my greatest thing in life is or what brings me the most joy it's always going to be my kids um since a very very little girl it's all I dreamt of and what I wanted was to be a mom and I was a very young mom um but yeah that's that yeah I, and I think it's mm -hmm. different if you're a person that never had children you've never had that feeling you've never been through it before maybe they would choose the choose the other way but as far as us being moms i think definitely i will definitely go for the big family yeah. being that I already we might be living in like a box outside because i don't know how i'll take care of it but <laughs> whatever we'll, we'll, we'll figure, figure it out, out. <laughs> you find a way when you have to find moms oh, when we out there when you gotta find a way you figure it the fuck out you guys know that if you're a mom Big family, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And just to have that experience, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. The joy that they bring, definitely. So, we'll do question 21. Would you rather... Oh, I feel like this is like a... What is that? The Miss America pageant. Would you rather put a stop to war or end world hunger? Hunger. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that that's tough. Because it's like, you don't want any of the two. But I guess if you had to pick one, yeah, probably hunger. Just because... It's more spread out throughout the entire world, you know, whereas wars are more like secluded to certain areas. I mean, granted, nobody wants to see that either, but you'd be helping, I feel like, a lot more people if you ended world hunger. And not only that, like kids, especially like kids or, you know, pregnant moms, like that's something that remember when we were younger, like all those commercials. Oh, my God. I remember I was a kid and that shit would kill me. And I'd be like, Grandma, because to me, my grandma was like the richest woman in the world when I was growing up. So I'm like, can you please send them? money and know, oh my, my mom, gosh my mom still mom, does like that. you don't know where that money's going my mom does still to this day sends money for hunger and i feel like i would do world hunger because with war we have people that are trained we have people so many people that that's what they enlist in the up. military to help fight war like we don't have people that enlist to help fight world mm. hunger like i feel like world hunger is a bigger problem mm -hmm. that we're trying to conquer compared to to war. All right, let's do 11. Would you rather listen to music from the 70s or music from today? Oh, that's tough. I don't like either. Eesh. I don't really know. Like, what's the 70s? It's not like Twist and Shout, is it? We have to Google it. I know, it's like, I do have a mixture of music. So mm -hmm. I do have, you know, Marvin Gaye, like music. Um, and I know he's in the Patti LaBelle and all those people like that. So I would say 70s because it's more meaningful. There's not too much subliminal 
and less is like love and, and, you know, and happiness and joy. Today, the subliminal and under in the the music is very satanic. Dark, yeah. So I would say definitely seventies. I will go for more seventies music. It's more um, better for your mental than the music that they play today. And some of the music that they play today, I'm like, what are they saying? <sighs> what are you talking about? I don't see that. For me, that's a rough one. I would probably pick. The music from today, but that's just going by, like, the couple of songs that I do know. Mm -hmm. um, but I just don't know, like, what was, like, when I think of, like, the 70s. My mom was born in the 60s, so, you know, she was, like, a young adult around that time. Um, yeah, no, I guess I would pick the present moment. My mom was born in the 50s, so I was born, you know, and listened to all of her music, like, Back in the day, also Elvis, you know, Apollo was around. So what year was that? That was the 60s. So, yeah. yeah so I grew Elvis. up in all on the older genre of um, music. So I think I would go for definitely go for the. It 70s. was definitely like I feel like a cleaner and not, you know, tainted the way that everything now is just so tainted. And yes. you don't know what so. you're listening to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. So would you rather be an unknown major league baseball player or a famous badminton star? <laughs> oh, I'm going to go with the major league baseball player. Unknown. Wait, but why are you unknown if you're a major league baseball player? But that's great because you're reaping all yeah, the benefits of being, and thing. you're not hounded by like paparazzi. Uh, Definitely. Say. Like, give me them no question about them it. coins and don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like a dream. Actually, what? now that I'm like reading it, I'm like, wait uh, a minute. For sure. Yeah. All right. Would you rather be gossip, gossiped about or never talked about at all? Gossiped about. Yeah. Yeah. I know. We were actually talking about this not that long ago because it's like it just comes with the territory with, mm -hmm. you know, anything. Even not being like, you know, crazy famous. But you look at, you know, YouTubers or influencers on social media and there's platforms out there. I just learned this recently that go and just you know, to bash them or to talk about them. Or maybe it is like not just bashing them. It is like true facts that they're putting out there. But the fact that they can go and like dig up all this information on you is so crazy to me. But it comes with the territory yes. of it. Like that's just what you have to deal with. So, exactly. and I guess if you're not being gossiped about at all, you're then right there's, yeah, you're probably not making it depending mm -hmm. on what you're doing, even in anything. Cause even if you're a doctor and like no one's, you yeah, know, everybody, talking everybody about you. gossips. Yeah. There's, there's no way you can get away from it. If you're in any type of business that's successful, that's out there, people are going to gossip about you. I'd rather for you to gossip about me and have your own opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. doesn't mean that I have to address what you gossip mm -hmm. about when it comes to me. That's just on you. It's, it's a reflection of you and how you feel about yourself. And it just makes me more money. Yeah, that's true. Very true. I have to agree with that. All right. So the next one is, would you rather always say everything on your mind or never speak again? <laughs> Imagine if like you didn't even have control and as, as the thought came in your mind, it just came out of your mouth, girl. <laughs> We'd be in so much trouble. I'll be locked up. <laughs> <laughs> but never speak again. Yeah, I'd rather say what's on my mind. I, mean, I, I respect a person more that says what's on their mind and they're transparent than a person that doesn't speak at all be, and being secretive and being so power, sneaky yeah. and being underhanded. And I'd rather, to, I'd rather be able to just speak my mind and say what I feel than to be like a, like shut down or, or not be able to speak. Mm -hmm. Like what, what century do we live in? Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely say the same, like not just, just let uh, it fly out of my mouth, to, I guess. Uh, Oops. Deal with the repercussions of what I say. <laughs> okay. The next one says, would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or in a broken elevator? Oh my gosh. Oof. I guess an elevator because I don't like to be cold. Yeah. Mm -mm. I hate the cold. I'm not built for the cold. I'm not made for the cold. And I don't even like, I don't even like heights. So both of those things right there are just terrifying to me. So I'm already going to be having a freaking panic. Maybe mm -hmm. I do need the ski lift because I'm going to be sweating, having a panic attack. But it's either you're going to freeze to death or suffocate. Yeah. Ooh. And that's always been a thing of mine too. Like going in elevators, if it like gets stuck or something, I'm always terrified of that. I would say the elevator too. I yeah. don't, the fact of 
being so cold and like freezing to death, um, I don't think I would be able to handle it. I would, I would definitely say, say an elevator. I feel like people are saved <laughs> more elevator. on the elevators than a ski lift. Like you're dead <laughs> by the time they get to you. I think an elevator is more, people are more aware when a malfunction goes in the elevator. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the ski lift is just outside. Hopefully someone sees that it malfunctions. <laughs> Alarms go off. You can press buttons. You can scream. Like people are going to hear you in an elevator. On a ski lift. Someone just- else is going to come to use it. The next one is, would you rather explore space or the ocean? I already know my answer to this one. Space. Yeah, me too. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. The ocean. I love going in the ocean. I love swimming. I love the water. I'm very much like a water beach girl, but I don't do that whole scuba diving no. crap. Like I'll, I'll go do a glass bottom boat ride. Like I'm good with that. But the ocean terrifies me. The fact that we've only discovered like the smallest percentage of it. I don't even know what the accurate percentage is. So I don't even want to throw it out there, but I know it's like under supposedly I think it's like under 30% or something like that that to me is mind-blowing and so scary so I'm like not that space would probably be any safer yeah but send but me to space yeah so I'll go with space as well um being the fact that your girl don't know how to swim <laughs> <laughs> I don't do water she knows I don't I'm good so I'll do I'll definitely uh do the the whole space and the fact of um, something goes wrong. I know something goes wrong in space. You, you know, you're not going to make it either. But the fact of just like water and drowning, yeah. and I just, there's just something about it that just doesn't sit well with me. So I would definitely just take my chances with space. Yeah, I know. Obviously you're taking a chance either way. So exactly. All right. So the next one, it says, would you rather have nosy neighbors or noisy neighbors? Nosy. N- nosy? Yeah, I would say noisy. I would say nosy. Noisy neighbors. I've had noisy neighbors. See, maybe because I never had it. I've had I've had noisy neighbors. They don't know any boundaries. Nosy neighbors don't either, but nosy neighbors, nosy neighbors will keep you safe. <laughs> noisy neighbors, you'll get murdered and no one will hear shit. <laughs> That's so true. You see how, like, everyone's mind thinks differently? Like, it's so funny. I will stick with the nosy ones. You will live. (laughs) I feel like I probably have had nosy neighbors. Um, I'm, like, I have neighbors where they'll be like, oh, and and I'm like, when did that happen? And how do you know? And, like, I remember even, I don't don't know. I'm not even going to put that out there because it might give away Mm. who the person is. And I don't like to talk about, like, specific people on here where people would know. But, um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. It always, like, creeps me out a little bit when someone's, like, that nosy that they literally, like, know everything. And you're just, like, like, it's just, it's creepy and it's weird to me. Um, but then again, like I said, I've never, I thank goodness, I've been blessed with great neighbors where they're very respectful. They're kind of like family, so they're not noisy. So I guess because I don't have that, I don't know what it's like. No, definitely because I watch too many crime documentaries, like nosy neighbors, know of all the crazies in the neighborhood. I used to and- my grandmother back in the day. <laughs> I appreciate those neighbors because I need to know all the, inf- I need to know all the info, especially that. I ha- we still have young kids. I need to know what's going on in, in the neighborhood. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> they can fill you in. Okay. Would you rather be too busy or be bored? Too busy. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, I think because I am routinely always so busy that when I do have that moment, which is so rare to just kind of like be bored or just give yourself... I, it, it almost like that gives me anxiety more mm-hmm. than being busy. I'm, o- I'm almost like, I, oh my God, I should be doing something. I feel like I should be doing something. I feel not productive. Like it's just weird to me. And I like being busy. I mean, it is stressful at times and I know it's overwhelming, but I'd rather be busy. It yeah. means you're doing something and you got, you got shit to do. I've been on both ends. I've been on the ends where I'm like, have nothing and nothing going on. And then I've been on the side where I'm always busy. I like the busy side. It keeps your mind going, keeps Mm -hmm. you learning. It keeps you growing. Um, And then the the board side is just, you start, you feel like you're starting to slow down. It's like, it's just a weird feeling when you're bored, especially at this age um, that you feel like it's wrong. You just feel like it's Mm -hmm. so wrong when you're, when you're bored and you have nothing to do. So definitely 
would choose staying busy all the time. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually, even my grandmother, my, my grandmother is uh, 82 and she still works only one day a week, but you know, she's always busy. She's very active in her church. Like I always ask her cause she looks really good. And they're like, you know, mm-hmm. what's the secret? And she says, just stay busy and stay active. She yes. says, cause the moment you just sit there and let yourself kind of like rest or just be Too in much. that still, you do need mm-hmm. rest, but you don't want to you don't want to overly rest. You just yeah. want to be able to get enough rest where it re- rejuvenates your body to keep going. going. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I will definitely live by what she taught me because I think that's, you know, it's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So would you rather be able to talk with animals or speak all foreign languages? All foreign languages. Speak with animals. <laughs> I am such a such huge animals. animal person. I love animals. I love my dog. He's my world. I'm just, I'm so obsessed. Um, I don't know. Some people like make me feel like around. They're just like, oh my God, you're like so crazy when it comes to him. And I am, but you know, and I sit there and think, I'm like, isn't everyone with their pets? But I guess everyone isn't. And I just love animals so much that, yeah, for sure. I think for me, it's all languages because I like to communicate with people. Sometimes that language barrier, especially being in the business that I'm in, it's, it's hindering. So for me, I would say all languages, be able to communicate with everybody, have that bond with certain people. And sometimes it's hard and certain people want that you know, have to be able to communicate with you and you can see it in their eyes when they are just like, they're kind of upset that they can't communicate with you. So for me, I would definitely say all languages. Yeah. Yeah. And that would be good for like your, your mind too, because it takes a lot of knowledge and, you know, it's not easy to learn multiple languages mm, so. not at all. There's so many. That's hard. All right. So another one is, would you rather be stuck? Oh, we did that one already. All right. Let's scroll. All right. This one. Would you rather end hunger or hatred? Kind of similar to the one we did. Hatred. Yeah. Because I was going to say the same thing. Because I feel like hatred is like... It, it's a cause it causes a lot of other things like mm-hmm. as we know like all these shootings that are happening i think all that stems from like sadness hatred you know and, and hate is a very as we know biblically but hate is a very powerful word like to end hatred would help out like with all the situations that we're going through right now in this world if we could end hatred and be able to communicate and get along with each other this world would move, mm-hmm. would move so much more smoothly if we weren't always in competition with each other such a happier place yeah and that's another thing yeah like hatred comes like you know people like just trying to outdo each other or compete and it's just so crazy it really is and it's sad and i think yeah that would eliminate a lot of a lot of that and then when you have and then when you hold that in and you have a hatred in your heart it just it destroys you Mm -hmm. so if you could just you know be more of a peaceful happier person you'll be not just better to the world but better to yourself yeah, so and the understand. world would be a better place mm-hmm. for sure all right we'll do two more Please stop. all right would you rather date someone you met online or go on a blind date online me too. <laughs> definitely because at the, least you know you talk to the person get to have even though on the online they could be catfishing you could not be the right person mm-hmm. but at least that you're you're having some t- sort of conversation to get a feel for the person to see if they are real or what they're about. Because after a while, even online, you start to get a, they start to show the real them, even in the lie. On a blind date, you might be missing. You're just you're set up with whoever set you up and hoping that they know you well enough to set you up with a good person. Maybe hoping that you make it home. And then after the date well hopefully they would, geez hopefully it's like someone that knows you well enough to That's be like true. you know but, but no, right, definitely online, online. yeah, yeah. Me too. I, i've never been a big fan of like blind dates oh mm-hmm. i just imagine like not knowing okay i'm going on a date and then just meeting the person once you get there and I then mean, it could go good but oh there's a lot of times where it could go wrong plus everyone has a different perspective like you know of what they like and what they don't like and what they see and what they don't see so to set you up on a blind date, like, you know, especially if they fail for that person and they've been friends with that person for a long time and they feel like he's a good mm-hmm. guy and he would make a good partner or spouse or whatever. But in your eyes, you're like, that's not yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. So definitely online because you could 
actually, you know, see the person. You, yeah, you <laughs> get more of a feel for who they are for yourself, not by what someone else thinks. Because, like she said, everyone thinks differently. You know, even mm -hmm. the person you're the closest with, the like we all think differently, and that's why usually, too, even best friends, they could think completely opposite, but that's what they like because they bring different perspectives to the table, exactly. so it works really well together. Even relationships, or you know, what have you, but. All right. Hopefully the last one's a good one. Let's see. All right. So this one says, would you rather go on a cruise with friends or with your spouse? Friends. <laughs> I'm going to say friends because I haven't been on a vacation with my friends in forever, We're but friends. we've been best friends for 20, how many years? Five. Because that's 25 years. Five. Yeah, like 25, almost 26 years, I think. Yeah, it's like 25, 26 years. And we have never gone on a vacation together. Something like all happens. my other friends I've gone away with, like she's gone away individually, but we just never did it together, which is just bizarre, weird. weird. Like I, I couldn't even, when we mentioned that, I was like, wait a minute. And, and we, we like realized that we've done so, we've so, done much, so much, literally stuff everything together. together, like <laughs> everything together. Except for go. Get on a damn airplane and go somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so we're finally making that happen this year. And I'm excited because we'll be able to like hopefully vlog. We will not hopefully. Yeah, we, we will, will vlog. vlog that. But it's just something that's like so long overdue mm -hmm. for us. And I know for even like me individually, I think her individually just much, much needed. So. Not saying we wouldn't want to do a vacation with an, a significant other. Yeah, but we'd course. rather with our like friends. we're speaking yeah for all these questions it's like okay we're going from like right now yes <laughs> rather so, with our friends yeah yeah so that was fun i actually like that yeah, we've never done cool. um and i always hear like people talking about like those games or you know like would you rather would you yeah. so i thought that was pretty cool it was something different gave you guys like a little more insight to who we are as you know and how we think and, and what we enjoy what we what we uh like to do yeah, definitely. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Please subscribe, like, comment, um, look for us on our other social media platforms, and definitely check out our Patreon. Even if you don't want to subscribe right now, you're not ready to, check it out, you know, see what it's about, and then maybe in the future down the line, you might want to subscribe and, you know, support us on there as well. But yeah, that's all for this episode. Yep, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye. Love, light, peace, V, and C.